Hey everyone, welcome to Watch It Paint. In this video, I'm going to try and build some scenery. Alrighty then, if you watched the unboxing video for Kill Team Into the Dark, you'll have seen I got way, way too excited about opening and closing doors. So I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm down, I'm excited, let's build ourselves some scenery. So in this video, you're going to need Into the Dark, that's what I'm going to be building, some of the corridors, so you're going to need some some slash all of those sprues. I'm going to just build up some scenery and see how far we get, just see how it takes me, but I want to open and close some doors. On top of that, I'm going to use the instructions. You can use this video and all the instructions. It's going to go a long way. I'm also going to use a, a standing knife. This one's particularly blunt, an exacto exact knife I think you have in the States. Uh, you can use the back of the blade or I can actually use the front because this one's super blunt. So it's it works either way around. I've also got a file which I don't often use but it's good to have handy. But the main tool of the job is a pair of nippers. And you might wonder, why do I still keep this in the case? Well, it's that sweet, sweet resell value if I want to pass this on second hand. No, it's not. No, it's, it's just because they are springed, spring loaded and there's no way of keeping them shut, which annoys the hell out of me. So I just keep them in the box. So grab yourself a pair of nippers, a knife, a file. Oh, the most importantly, maybe more important than nippers, is actually the plastic glue. So I'm going to use plastic glue. A lot of people are recommending Tamiyo's liquid cement, I think it's called. Still haven't got any. Need to pick that up, try that out. But I, I don't mind this Citadel plastic glue. It does work wonders much, much better than super glue as used in the past. As we go through the video, by all means, leave us some tips in the comments below. That is why I've moved on to using plastic glue over super glue. Any other tips are more than welcome for both myself and anybody else watching the video. We are going to be starting at the beginning of the scenery. It's like most of the way through the book, actually. It shows you how to make the units first, but I'm going to go straight to the scenery because it's way, way too cool not to. Two. So we're going to start with 26. You can build two of these and two of these 27s as well. But let's, I'll probably skip this because you'll get the general feel, but we'll do this one because this is the most exciting freaking bit and I want to get it done. We are going to be looking for a 1, a 10, and then we get a choice of doors. We can have A8 or A5. I'm actually going to go with A5 and you might wonder why. Why do I really like round door handles over these lever ones? No, no it's just because I, I, I just can't find A8 anywhere. I'm, I'm freaking blind. We'll start with A1, which is the big wall. It's this one. It's easy to find because it's got the round hatchway. And then we'll grab our trusty nippers and, we, and we'll just stick them in. And now I sit them as flush to the flat as I can. It's flush the bit I want to keep. Let's have a good look at that in case you're unfamiliar with it. A lot of people recommend cutting away and then filing down, but I find these nippers work really, really well and get quite a good close cut. So I'm just saving myself some time and some effort filing and trimming that down. We'll do the same nip over here. We're going to have to come in from a different angle for this one. But again, nice and flat and then a nip. And then all the way around the top as well. Once again, it's just all the same on this one, just keeping it nice and flat, getting in as close as I can. Try not to pinch the plastic, but these are super sharp and get a really nice clean cut. Knit this one and this one all the way around. And then I somehow missed one. Was I blind or did I not nip hard enough? Let's free this side up. And that's it. That's completely detached. That was nice. That was super easy because it's all flat, square, chunky bits, all nice and flush, really easy snips. Then we're going to take your X-Acto knife, your Stanley blade, your craft knife, whatever you want. And we're going to notice there is a big mold line all the way across the top of this. So as well as these little bits where we've trimmed they're, they're just if you feel they might be a little bit rough, mine are this one's completely smooth, but these are a tiny bit rough, didn't get perfect. So you, normally you might want to use the back of your blade and scrape, just scrape along the seam, scrape along that, and it's gonna pick off any of the rough top edges. But I, as I said, mine's pretty blunt, marginally sharper on the blade side for me, but only marginally, and it just makes it a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. And I'm gonna put that flat against this raised mold line as well as these bits of sprue that are left over. I'm just going to scrape, you probably hear that quite loud, just scraping off that top layer of plastic and smoothing this down. Now you could use a file if it's really bad, and that's what I've got the file ready for, but th this is nothing. So just going to smooth that down and go all the way around. Now the bottom won't matter too much because it's going to be flat to the table, but I'll just smooth them over just so it doesn't wobble or anything ridiculous like that, because obviously this is going to make up the sort of base of these walls and it's going to be sitting flush and flat to the table. Um, so yeah, I'll just tidy this up just to stop it wobbling, but 
doesn't this bit's not gonna matter too much it's underneath you'll never ever see it is this my first time building scenery i feel like it is and holy moly is it quick it's just look how big this is and i've already done a big chunk of what i've got to build now we are gonna have to free up this door because these are real working opening and closing doors when am i gonna get bored of that so once again we're just gonna nip all the way around the door frame <laughs> Then I'm gonna kick out the door. Oh, that felt good. And then we're gonna do the same treatment on the inside of this door. We're just, and you can actually see this one. I could not get as flush as I wanted. And the reason for that is it's not flat. It was round, so it's holding my nippers off of that flat surface. So I'm gonna fix that fairly easily with this blade. Actually, at this point, it would be better to have a sharp blade. That was bad enough and hard enough to cut through that a sharp blade would have been a better choice there. So that might be another tool you might wanna have. Obviously I could just go and change out this blade and then I would have a sharp blade. That's the reason for having this. It's got interchangeable blades, but yeah, we're just gonna go around once again. Again, this bit, oh, the inside of the door. Yep, add that to the recommended tools list guys. Actually get a sharp knife. I'm probably gonna persevere for the sake of the effort of getting out of my chair. I am a lazy boy, but I would recommend a sharp knife for these bits because you're not going to get as close as I would would like and you're going to have the same problem unless you've got the world's smallest head on the nippers. But yeah, nice sharp blade just to just to cut those off and then back to the blunt blade just to scrape around and smooth this door frame out. And what you're going to be left with is a really smooth hole and we're going to go and find what to jam in that hole next. And for that, it is as a round door. So this is a five, as I, as I mentioned, it's the, literally the only one I could find at the moment. The other ones will become apparent once you know there's not a billion pieces of freaking corridor scenery everywhere. Again, we're going to just nip all the way around. Nip, 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 nip. Nip, 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 nip. Door breaks free. Repeat the process, grab your craft knife, smooth out these little notches. If there are any, you might get away with it luckily, but again, this is round, so I, I doubt it. I think you're gonna have to smooth this out manually. It doesn't take long, a couple of minutes, just whizzing around with the blade. Maybe not even a couple of minutes. I think I exaggerated. Probably tens of seconds which is going to add up because there's a whole bunch of scenery in this pack but who who am i to complain i am this is, i think I'm, I'm sure this is the first piece of scenery i've ever built that is how cool this scenery is you know i've actually finally got it out of the box getting the blade to it smoothing it out to build it up because I, I think you can use this in more than um more than kill team. I think obviously that's what it's designed for, but I think corridors, that sort of thing. I've got, uh, what's that game called? A wet, uh, alone. And that's very claustrophobic. Maybe I don't think you can use it in Nemesis, but I think this is going to look cool in any game that you can have some corridors in. There we go. Nice smooth door. Then we need the hinge, which is a 10. A 10's on the same one as a five, just down here in this corner. This is, this is hard. Normally in these videos, I'll show you where they are on the sprue and it's quite distinguishable. It might even speed you up finding them. But in this box, there's just so, so many sprues. It's hard to locate. Last little bit on this door, again, with the knife, smoothing this over, making it look a little bit better. The other thing is actually thinking about it, all of this is like a big derelict space hulk, isn't it? So these notches, oh, could you get away with not tidying them up? Maybe, maybe some of them. You probably don't need to lose any sleep over tidying them all up, but I'd recommend probably getting rid of some just because there's going to be so many all over the place and at a certain point it's going to look like you couldn't be bothered to tidy up your miniatures. But the odd one or two is just going to look like more, more battering to the to the hull to the ship, isn't it? So that's nice and smooth. Next up is some glue, and we're going to need to take a little bit of care because I noticed. Get out the way, door. I noticed there's plastic everywhere. Make sure you blow that into the bin. I noticed we need to put glue on and no glue in other places. So I think this deep orange is where not to put glue, and the yellow is where you want it. Although then it highlights this entire door. What is going on, GW? Yellow is normally where you put the glue. All over the door, should I just coat this in glue? <sighs> why, why, why? Let's go for a dry fit, because this is gonna matter. So we have a door here, and you see, it's these three notches here, which I think you don't want to put glue on. Actually, I don't think, yes, that. I don't think you want to put glue anywhere. Is it out of control? Because I'm sure I'm gonna glue this door shut.
Okay, first of all, get the door the right way around so it goes into the hole. Woohoo! Fits in there. So that's step one. Then let's try this hinge. Which way up does it go? I think this way. Yes! Oh my god. That's so cool, right? But the thing is, you definitely need to glue, otherwise, you're going to be playing and be like, I'm so strong. So let's work out where to glue. Ah, okay. Okay. So it, it sits on those notches. That's where this hinge sits. So we're going to be pretty much safe putting glue on this piece as long as it doesn't touch any of that. So following the instructions, it does look like it's just in those two circles and up that line. So that's pretty simple. So we'll take our plastic glue. What I always find is mine's dried up um, and it's hard to get the glue out. If you guys don't know this already, just turn this over, slap it back in and let the plastic glue burn itself free. So it'll start coming out eventually. There we go. That was nice and quick. So it looks like we want to put glue in this bit here, along here and in this circle here. Now I'm tempted to put it in these dots. In fact, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to balls to the wall this. Put in these, these dots. I'm keeping this door from ever breaking free. Uh, so that hinge should sit on those raised bits like so. Ooh, like so. And then we're going to pop this in over the tippity top. Just dropped it straight in. First try. I'm going to hold it down for a split second or two. Not a split second. Hold it for a couple of seconds. But the plastic glue takes starts drying so, so quick. Come on, moment of truth. Look at the door. We are in business. I missed the mold line. Oh my. Do not miss those mold lines. Sad, sad times. Anyway, leave that to dry fully. While that was drying, I built up 27 as well, which was A2, A6, and A9, which was simply a case of taking the next one on the sprue, it was right next to it, and then finding the door and the hinge bit, which is a needle in a haystack. But there we go, got two of them. It was essentially the same. I don't think we're gonna gain much by showing you the same process over and over again. It's a, you know, rinse and repeat. One thing to note though is this time, I remembered to shave these down, so that's a lot cleaner this time. But this time, I forgot got the back of the like the hinge bit it's, oh, it's so annoying which actually makes the door not open as well um it's fine right remember the ship's desecrated it's been desecrated so hard it's actually put mold lines on the doors but it's fine we've got that done make sure you know once you have finished building them you do close the doors because a lot of people in my experience get really annoyed if you leave their doors open for some unknown reason so we'll move those to one side and for the next bit i think we will skip 28 because it's pretty much the same just with this different shape Door. If, if, guys, let me know in the comments below what is actually your favorite shaped door. Do you feel that there's a need to have lots of different shapes? I'd like to know material dimensions and in particular use of the door, I guess. What, what's in the room behind it? Let me know in the comments below what is your favorite door. I'm sure that's very important to everyone. Anyway, let's go into 29. It's slightly different. I will gloss over this bit. I'll just go and do the same steps, but then we'll come back and show you this. The bulk of it is A4, and it's actually quite hard to find, so I'll point it out. It's this big big one on the bottom of one and the reason I found it so hard to find is A4s right here I was looking absolutely everywhere except along this edge upside down so this is the one you're looking for just while I'm gluing this door hinge on I do want to point out so the instructions do show like mostly always this side and in the first one I hopefully noticed that I did put it in those four little dots that were on the original one but this one's got them here from, from what I've done so far you definitely want to fill them all whether the instructions say or not you want to do both sides of these hinge notches so just like this There you go. Yeah, all those spots filled. Door in. And this just slots in on top of those holes. Clickety click. Hold it for a sec once again and then let that dry. So where this bit of scenery differs is we're gonna add a little bit more to it. It was already massive, wasn't it? So we want A4A and then the hunt begins. Should have left you waiting in real time to see how unbelievably long that took me. It's A4A, it's this one. It's kind of hard to show which sprue this is on. Oh, but it looks like this. Good luck finding it. Once again, we'll just free this out with a little and then we'll smooth that down with the knife. To attach this bonus bit of scenery, we just need to flip this over and it's gonna go here, some sort of pillar, isn't it? Give it a little dry fit in up front just in case for any reason, but then it's just simple. We're gonna glue all the way around the edge. You know, like I feel like most of my time has been searching for pieces and waiting for the glue to come out of, um, out of this plastic glue. I'm pretty sure actually building all of this is an absolute piece of cake. Just like that all the way around, give it a spin and click it into place. Slots in 
very easily there. Once, it, well, the gravity is going to do the work here, so you don't even need to hold it for long. But just leave that to dry. While I'm waiting for that to dry, can I just point out? I'm loving these doors. They have to open, right, so your kill team can come through. But do you, A, physically have to manoeuvre them through? Because that's a bit difficult anyway. But even if they did, do, 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 here I come to kill some baddies. Oh, oh. Oh, yes. So, so, so graceful, wasn't it? I just, uh, I feel like the doors aren't quite big enough for the little men to come through, so I'm guessing you just jump them over, but I am going to be playing and making anybody I play against have to physically push their soldiers through the doorways. So the big boy is all dry now, let's just check the door works. Yep, all seems good in there. And um, yeah, so let's move on to another piece. So we can fly through this. So we've done 26, 27, 28 is just more doors. 29 we've covered because it's the same, but we add this pillar. Then on the next page, we've got 30, which again is just a wall with a pillar. Guys, you know how to do it. 31, wall and pillar. It's all about just finding them. 33, 32, sorry, was interesting because it's literally just a wall. Job done, just trim it, cut it, and then smooth it over. You can see I smoothed the top a lot better than the bottom because you ain't ever gonna see the bottom. Oh. I mean, you'll see if it falls over. When it's attached together, it's not gonna fall over. Uh, 33, again, doors on a wall, uh, different ones on a wall. And then we get onto the back, and now we're talking about 34. Uh, 34 is just like, do do whatever you want, guys. So you've got C5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Two of each of those. These are pillars that we need to locate. Um, a whole bunch of those and then they've got these little decals as well decals like little bits you need to stick on 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so it's wild goose chase time look through and find what you want i happen to find myself two pillars get this door out of the way a uh, wall out of the way and two of these so i've got which one's this i've got c15 not that it matters but this little baby and then I've, oh then i've dropped it but i also had c17 this one down here so i've got this as well so 15 c 15 17 then i've got one of the pillars and a different one as well can't remember what it is it's not going to matter I'm just going to take two like so cut them off the sprue i've smoothed them down as much as i can be bothered and then i'm going to just simply and it doesn't look like it matters where it goes so this is all just aesthetics uh you're probably going to want to put some time getting it straight because that might look a little bit a little bit rubbish to be honest and then in their example it's just like slightly over halfway so i'm just going to apply glue on the raised bits of the back of the bit we're sticking on a little bit there a little bit there and then primarily just around the inner edge i'm going to just try and get the inner edge because i don't want it to split out too much and go everywhere then i'm just going to choose one of my pillars actually probably pick the bit that's least well sort of um cleaned up let's hide a little bit so I'm gonna try and get it about central and as straight as I can make it and then press it down. And then that plastic glue is just gonna melt the plastic together, binding it like so. So I've got myself a corner pillar there. And then this of one is exactly the same. Flip this baby around and go around the inner edge just in case any splurts out. Not, not a lot of pressure is gonna be on this. So it's not like it's gonna need that much glue in. Then again, just pick where you want it. I'm going to go slightly above the center using that center mold line that we scraped off to sort of guide the middle of this and press that into place. Got ourselves a couple of pillars. Obviously there's 14 more of those to go and do, but it's just rinse and repeat. For the next page, 38 to 42, we've got 38, 40, 41, 42, all of these. They all seem to be located on this steampunk looking esque piece, the one with all the pipes and stuff going everywhere. So 38 and 39, that, that's this piece and this one over there. Again, are just cut out and there's two of each. So off of the other sprue, it's just cut out and filed down and you've got those pieces are good to go. The rest require a little bit of building. So for number 40, we've got to find uh, D4, D3 and D5, which are these big cylinders here, these big cylinders here, and then you need a little uh, wheel valve, whatever you would call them. So snip these out and file them down. And then in true Blue Peter style, here is one I had made earlier. So I've cut these off and we'll simply turn this over, grab our glue again, and then apply that all the way around the inside of these canisters, including these little bumps here. Boop, 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 all the way around. Oh, this reminds me of like um, 
dot to dots, except there's no dots, it's just a canister outline, but you, you know what, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, all the way around, wee, all the way back to the start, that was a fun little game, like one of those maze things as well, isn't it? Uh, and then it's just a matter of lining this up, make sure you get it the right way around, so you want these little stems pointing down, and then connect it up, slides in, push it together, and that will glue on nicely. For the wheel, it's this little knob poking out here, we're simply going to get a little bit of glue on that, Probably just get one on the tip. It's, it's best to focus on the tip, that's where it's most sensitive. And that's where it will hold the glue the best. So we'll just put that on, squeeze it on. Don't think it matters where we ori orientate the pull thing, because you're not actually going to be able to use this. Oh, maybe I should have like hinged that somehow so you could rotate it around. Nah. 40 taken care of, 41 similar, couple of pipes, D6, D7, D5 again, so the same wheel. So same sprue with all the pipe works, but here's the first bit, the big piece, then the canisters up here in this corner here, and then the wheels again are in the middle. Cut them out, blue peter it, and then we will flip this one over once more. We're gonna get the glue around the back of the canister, super easily, barely an inconvenience. Grab the canister this way up, and then we will click it in to there. And then once again, we've got another little, oh, what do you call these? I'm sure they're like wheel valves. Um, but yeah, we'll just get some glue on that and click this back into place. Oh, I heard it click. Make sure it's all squeezed together tight again. I don't know why I was squeezing that bit, but that's all good to go. And leave that one to dry. So on to 42, which looks like some sort of steampunk elephant. Again, it's on the sprue with all the steampunk. Uh, you've got the two big pieces here. You've got this bit here, which I thought was a, a gun to a turret. I'm a little bit disappointed, but you know, that's gonna be used there. And directly above it at the very top is the other piece. So it's those four pieces, cut them off. Da -da 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 -da. Trim them down, neaten them up, etc. as I've been saying throughout the video. And then we're gonna go on to gluing. For gluing, we're gonna take the side without the handle on. Mine's actually broken off. I uh, don't know if you saw in the unboxing, but wah, wah, wow. So that's gone. So I could actually lay that down flat, but it does say to do this one. So we'll lay this one flat on the table. And then we'll get our glue and we will traverse it all. Oh my God, this glue takes so long to come out. And then we'll traverse it all the way around the flat edge of this and just trace it all the way around. Once again, we're doing a little maze, a little dot to dot. It's quite good. It's hard to stay on the lines, wobbling all over. Then we'll take the other side that should have the handle on and click those together. Boop, 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 boop. Give them a pinch, make sure it's nice and tight. Then we'll stick the front of the elephant on, which is the a bigger piece that's gonna go on there. Give it a little dry fit if you want first. And then in the instructions, it looks like it says, cover all of this with glue. I don't, I don't think so, I don't think so. So we'll cover this bit here sticking out. I will get a generous amount on this. So we'll get that generously covered, this bit generously covered, and this bit's also sticking out. And then I'll just run a bit across there as well. Something like that should do as good. Take the big bit and that will just click into there. And again, apply a little bit of force, make sure it's on nice and close, nice and tight. Get rid of any gap and give that a minute. Should mention while I'm holding this, that this was this one was absolutely exhausting. There is a hard uh, mold line all the way around this and there's a lot of scraping to do. So bear that in mind, that was and genuinely quite tiring. And then last but not least, we'll do similar with the back, but this one, you're gonna pick up this piece and you're gonna get the glue all the way around the edge. I recommend getting these knobs because they're gonna go inside and hold it snuggest inside this little hole and this little hole. There we go. Again, give it a pinch so it's nice and tight and nice and close, no gaps. And I think we're getting close to being done with all of this sort of standalone scenery, which if nothing else, guys, it's gonna look nicer in my B-roll footage when I just show you some random Marines. Uh, and we'll be able to add these into the battlefields. But we're not done. We've got 43, 44, and 45, which is some gas cylinders attached to these sort of oxygen tanks. Looks like some sort of medical equipment, doesn't it? Which is on the same sprue. It's this one here and it's this one here. So we'll cut those two out. So you've got these two pieces to go, and then we're just gonna get some glue down that raised notch and that raised notch. Actually, we won't, we'll do it the other way around, ignore that, we'll get them in the holes on the opposite side. So back of this gas canister, gas as in petrol tank, I'm not sure. In the hole, in this hole, grab this, you'll see those bits sticking out of the tank, and then just line them up, put it on. Leave that one to dry as well. Then we're on 44, which is like the 
a wheel of a car and some tanks again and another bit of car. Same sprue again. You're looking at this piece here, two tanks in the car bit, and then down here as well. It looks like a bit of a tractor. Cut those both free from the sprue, and then it's as simple as putting glue all the way around the edge of this piece. Grab the little piece, turn it around. You can see where it lines up and fits on. And just push that into there. You've got this little baby. It is like a little baby tractor, isn't it? Choo-choo, or train, I guess. Oh, another bit of standalone scenery. Last but not least on the standalone scenery, number 45. And we're just going to be grabbing the boxes. And on the sprue, these are very easy to find here and here. And there's actually two sets on each of the sprues here and here. And I would advise dry fitting these. Just make sure you get them the right way around. But you'll be able to see one of them's got a little notch in the corner and a little notch over here. And one of them underneath has got the little bits that fit inside it. Then it's a matter of just having them the opposite way around and it will click in place really easily. So you just want to make sure they're that way around. We'll grab the glue and we'll put them in all the holes. And I'll show you this bit because it's harder to see. But there's a hole here and a hole here. Then you've got this little bit on the edge here, a little bit there as well. And there's a hole here, a little bit on this corner. Oh, can you even see past the glue? A little bit on this corner and maybe here as well. Then we'll take this, line it back up, right there, click it in. And that's it, an example of all the standalone scenery. Obviously there's multiples of all of those, and in fact there's four of these boxes, but yeah, that's gonna be awesome when they're painted up, and I think I might actually do these first, because these can just be used in anything. So yeah, I've just got some sweet looking crates. Speaking of painting up, if you didn't realize, there will be some painting tutorials on the channel. Mike's working on those now. I'm actually getting mine built now, so I can follow along with his tutorial. So make sure you hit subscribe, and you can see how he's gonna be painting up all of the scenery, maybe not all, at least some of the scenery. And there we are, I think we've covered more or less all the important bits. Now we're on to the exciting bit, which is remembering this is modular. This is the second most, ex no, this is the first most exciting. And the second most exciting is the doors open. The first is this is very modular. So all of these squares and they're all over all of the sprues, but these are the caps that join the pieces together. So pop a few of those out. And then we're gonna place these on top of something. So you can basically join them in any order. It gives you a good example. And then on top of that, there'll be plenty of layouts in the actual game. So all of these joins here take various pieces. So we've got this standalone gas tank. We can slap that in there like so you can see we've got a triangle up here. Now with that triangle, we can join something to it. We could just finish it with the other half of a pillar, or we can join another bit of wall with perhaps another door on it. So we'll pop that on like so, and that roughly fits in place. And then what you do is you clear some space because this is a little bit fiddly, but like that. And then you can take these caps, you just squeeze them on the top. Do not glue any of this. Do not glue it. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking about gluing it. Don't do that. But there you go. Now we've got this all attached. We've got another door here. So we've got two doors. We've got this divider here as a bit of, um, you know, cover. And then we've got one here as well. So we can attach, maybe we'll, on this bit, we'll have this pipe sticking out. And again, that slots in the top like that. It's just a bit of scenery, just a bit more cover, no doubt. And we can put a cap on it, finishing that off at the top there. On this pillar over here, let's just, let's make that a pillar. Let's end that. Again, taking a cap, just joined one of those corner pieces on and that's looking super neat, isn't it? Look at that. And then what can we do over here? We've got one of these just plain walls. There's no door on that, but that can slot into there. And then off the back, we'll use another wall with another door like that and we'll grab the cap and we can pop that on top and now look at this guys modular and all the bits you know there, there's lots and lots of different layouts then you've got a load of this standalone machinery as well so you can just put this in as a bit of scenery or and well scenery and or cover uh we've got this what does this do <laughs> Don't know, but we can just attach these two together if we want. Now we've got whatever that is, just some random scenery to cover behind. I think you get the idea, guys. This looks absolutely fantastic. I'm going to try and build something. A little bit of B-roll you're probably looking at now, and it probably looks ace on the board with some standard standard watch it painted marines covering and cowering behind it. But that's it, guys. Any questions, by all means, let us know in the comments below. And do hit subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you want to see this painting video that Mike's working on currently. It's going to be very, very fast speed paint style s coverage so we can get this entire thing painted to the table playing as soon as we can thank you all ever so much for watching and i will see you again soon
Alrighty then, if you watched the unboxing video, should I fix my hands because they like glowing? Come on, come on camera, play ball, play ball. Turn down the shutter, turn down the ISO, make it daylight. Boom, ooh, natural skin tones. But not, not quite like this, obviously, like don't have to sit here for like 10 minutes while the glue finally pours out. Hopefully it's a little bit quicker for you. While I'm waiting for the door to dry before we glue, actually, let's just glue it on, fuck it, fuck it. I'm not scared. 